frequencies. Guinea pigs in secret experiments have included prisoners, soldiers, mental patients, handicapped children, deaf and blind people, homosexual, single women, the elderly, school children, and any group of people considered marginal by the elite experimenters. The published experiences of prisoners in Utah State Prison, for example, are shocking to the conscience. Today's microchips operate by means of low-frequency radio waves that can target from a distance. With the help of satellites, the implanted person can be tracked anywhere on the globe. When a microchip is placed in the optical nerve of the eye, it draws neural impulses from the brain that embody the experiences, smells, sights, and voice of the implanted person. Once transferred and stored into a computer, these neural impulses can be projected back to the person's brain by the microchip to be re-experienced a second time. Using an RMS, a land-based computer operator can send electromagnetic messages uh, encoded as signals to the nervous system, affecting the target's performances. With RMS, healthy persons can be induced to see hallucinations and to hear voices in their heads. Every thought, reaction, hearing, and visual observation causes a certain neurological potential, spikes and patterns in the brain and its electromagnetic fields, which can now be decoded into thoughts, pictures, and voices. Electromagnetic stimulation can therefore change a person's brain wave and affect muscular activity, causing painful muscular cramps experienced as torture. The NSA's electronic surveillance system can simultaneously follow and handle billions of people. Each of us has a unique bioelectrical resonance frequency in the brain, just as we have unique fingerprints. With electromagnetic frequency, brain stimulation, fully coded, pulsating electromagnetic signals can be sent to the brain, causing the desired voice and visual effects to be experienced by the target. This is a form of electronic warfare. United States astronauts were implanted before they were sent into space so their thoughts could be followed and all of their emotions could be registered 24 hours a day. The Washington Post reported in May 1995 that Prince William of Great Britain was implanted at the age of 12. Thus, if he was ever kidnapped, a radio wave with a specific frequency could be targeted to his microchip. The chip signal could then be routed through a satellite to the computer screen of police headquarters where the prince's movements could be followed. He could actually be located anywhere on the globe. The mass media has not reported that an implanted person's privacy vanishes for the rest of his or her life. He or she can be manipulated in many ways using different frequencies. The secret controller of this experiment can even change a person's emotional life. He can be made a Aggressive or lethargic, sexuality can be artificially influenced, thought signals and subconscious thinking can be read, dreams affected and even induced, all without the knowledge or